Chairman Loomis, Ranking Member Swalwell, members and staff of the subcommittee, I, too, am very pleased to be here today to provide my perspective on the future of particle physics in light of the new P-5 report. It is a particular pleasure for me to participate in these hearings. Twelve years ago, I was part of the HEPAP subpanel that recommended the creation of P-5. We believed that such a prioritization process would be essential in ensuring that we judiciously use the available resources in our field, both human and financial, to pursue a balanced, diverse, and exciting program. It is not possible to pursue all of the scientific opportunities we see before us. We must choose wisely. In my opinion, this recent P-5 report does an outstanding job of setting the path forward for U.S. particle physics. Fully recognizing that resources are constrained, the report sets forth a staged plan focusing on the most compelling science, building on U.S. strengths across the field, ensuring that the U.S. retains a leadership role in this important area of research. Before discussing the report, it helps to remember why having a healthy particle physics program is important for our nation. I will start with the science. Particle physics asks very basic and fundamental questions about the world we live in. It is incumbent on us to pursue the answers to those questions, as has every great society that has preceded us for millennia. In addition, the fundamental nature of these questions draws interest to science generally. Just look at the excitement over the discovery of the Higgs. And while many factors go into an individual's decision to pursue a career in science, the idea of big, fundamental questions out there just waiting to be answered is certainly one enticement. Finally, particle physics is an essential part of the fabric of the physical sciences in the United States. It contributes broadly to other disciplines and benefits enormously, enormously from research in other fields. A vivid illustration of the interplay between different scientific fields comes from SLAC National Accelerator Lab, where I was the director from 2007 to 2012. SLAC was born as a particle physics laboratory. We turned off our last accelerator for particle physics in 2008. In 2009, we turned on the world's first X-ray free electron laser, the LINAC coherent light source. The LCLS is a tool for chemistry, for biology, for material science, for condensed matter physics. It is not a tool for particle physics. However, its rapid early success relied on years of research and development in particle physics aimed at making precision controlled beams of electrons for future linear colliders. The challenge we have been facing for some time now is how to craft a healthy, particle physics program in the U.S. with constrained resources and in an increasingly international environment. The P-5 subpanel has done an outstanding job of charting our course. They started, as Dr. Ritz said, with the science. To be successful, we need to focus on and prioritize the opportunities that give us the most transformational scientific advances and attract the best talent. Following a year-long process of engaging the community, P-5 articulated five intertwined science drivers for the field, and then developed criteria for their prioritization process and evaluated the projects against those criteria to craft the program for the future. The P-5 process engaged the entire community, both laboratories and the university community. The transparency and inclusivity of the process were phenomenal and exceptionally well done. The community is deeply in debt to the leadership shown by Dr. Ritz. The plan P-5 crafted reflects the voices, priorities, and thoughts of many in our community. It is the reason the community can stand behind this plan. In ending, I would like to note that the field of particle physics in the U.S. and in the world is changing dramatically. We used to define ourselves solely in terms of our primary accelerator tools. But to quote the former White House science advisor Jack Marburger, opportunities have emerged for discovery about the fundamental nature of the universe that we never expected, and technology places those discoveries within our reach. Going forward, we must have a program that allows us to focus efforts across a broad variety of tools to realize the new scientific opportunities. That includes observatories in space, telescopes on mountains, sensitive detectors in deep caves under the earth, in addition to our traditional accelerator tools. The plan outlined by P-5 and supported by the particle physics community is a realistic, executable roadmap for a new era, and it will enable a future of discovery that is every bit as exciting as our past. It was hard, but the results are worth the effort. This roadmap will allow the field to move forward and to deliver success. 
thank you for the opportunity to share my views with you today.